A good Monday to you all. It is June the 10th, 2024, and we've got some MLB action. I'm going to dive into it. Hopefully, you guys had a great weekend betting the NBA Finals. Let's dive into the free three picks of the day. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Noble Living, back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks and plays of the day as we're just trying to get to the bag together. We're just trying to get to that money. Now, over the weekend, we did have a jam-packed weekend full of sports, full of baseball, NBA Finals. I gave you guys a few picks over the weekend, so let's do a full weekend recap. What's in our best? weekend as on friday we went one and two we cashed on the cubs reds first five under no sweat bet there but we end up losing on the links on the spread i mean the mercury were hitting every shot also Brittany griner played that game was not expecting her to play big differentiator in that matchup there but then also brandon fought joe ryan pitching out joe ryan cashed in for us but brandon fought he got banged up he only ended up going five and a third we only needed two more outs so we end up losing on friday one and two saturday we did not pick up a single win we went oh two and one with a push we had the twins first five money line in the short that we dropped we also ran it back with the cubs reds first five under guess what they scored a run with two outs in the bottom of the fifth and then the red sox blew our parlay they were the heaviest favorites of the three teams that we gave out and they lost against the white sox so that was a tough way to lose saturday and then yesterday we got hooked twice jason tatum on the rebounds hooked Celtics first half team total hooked we did cash on the Mavs at plus seven and a half and I mean that was basically a hooked victory because if you took seven you would have pushed if you took six and a half you would have lost so we took seven and a half and we ended up cashing on that so overall for the weekend two six and one not our best weekend but we still finish off the first week of June with a winning mark 12 9 and 1 that we did go over the first week so not too too bad hopefully we can keep the momentum going this week as we always tend to do a little bit better during the week than the weekends for some reason Reason. so make sure you guys are smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel so this way you can be back for all the updates every single day as we're going to run it up this week on baseball nba and also a little bit of some WNBA action so let's dive into these baseball winners for today for today's baseball slate, we're going to keep it real short and sweet, real brief. Not too many games on the board today that I like in particular, but there is one that's gotten my attention, and that is in that Royals and Yankees matchup. And the first pick that we're going to go with today is the nerfy between these two pitchers, Seth Lugo on the mound, Carlos Rodon on the mound, and that's minus 120 odds. So you normally don't get a nerfy at that good of odds at this total here with two really strong pitchers. So I'm going to grab it. Seth Lugo on the year, 12 and 1 to the nerfy. Meanwhile, Carlos Rodone, 9 and 3 to the Nerfy. Both of these offenses can get off to hot starts, but I do trust both of these pitchers here to be able to handle it. Both of them have ERAs 3 and below. So for me, I like both of these pitchers. Don't overthink it. Grab the Nerfy. We just need 6 outs. Let's sweat it. The Yankees and Royals, two teams offensively that have been a little bit slower in terms of starting off games. So give me the Nerfy here between these two strong pitchers. But even though we're looking at the Nerfy, I actually do have a full game angle on this one as well. And we're going to go with the plus cheeky here. So give me the Royals on the money line at plus 110 odds. I really like the Royals in this matchup because it's Seth Lugo day. If you guys have been tapped into the channel, then you know we've been tailing Seth Lugo a lot this year. And until he loses, until he shows us signs of regressing, we're not going to run away from him. He's 9-1 and one on the year, 2.13 ERA. That's the second best win ratio in all of the American League, seventh best ERA in all the American League. And it's really hard to go against that. And last game we took him, he lost against the Guardians on the road. He gave up five earned runs over over six innings but again if you look at some of his starts before then he's literally cash in on the money line for the Royals in seven of the last 10 games and including that last loss that was four of the last five so for me I really like Seth Lugo in this matchup he is at home today and you know what the Royals can do at home 2.72 ERA Seth Lugo has at Coffin Stadium but also keep in mind that the Yankees are traveling into Kansas City today after playing the Sunday night matchup at home against the Dodgers. That's a very quick turnaround for them to get right on the road. If you guys have been handicapping baseball for a while, then you guys know the narrative that when a team plays on Sunday night baseball and they have to immediately get on the road and travel, they typically tend to lose that Monday game. I don't know why. Maybe it's the travel. Maybe they haven't had enough rest. Whatever the case may be, it's just an ongoing trend that you typically tend to see when you handicap baseball over the length of an entire season. And today's pick fits that narrative, but also when you keep 
keep in mind that the Yankees are still without Juan Soto with the forearm injury. They're coming off a grueling series against the Dodgers where they dropped two of three. Now, I think that they're going to go on the road here against this Royals offense that has been jacked up, that has been fired up, and I think that it's going to be tough for them to pick up this win. Carlos Rodon has not been bad on the year. Eight and two with a 3.02 ERA. That's really what you want to see from him. But over his last few starts, he gave up two earned runs against the Twins. That's not too bad over six innings. But three earned runs against the Angels over six innings as well. But the biggest point of concern is in those last two starts, he's given up a home run. Even if you look back at it, if you look at his last six starts where he's given up an earned run, he's given up at least one home run. That's a little bit concerning that Royals right now are hitting left-handed pitching pretty well. And I just like the Royals to be able to jump out on top of the Yankees today. I would like the Royals to jump out at the Yankees today at home. 24 and 11 record. They're the Royals at home this year. Meanwhile, the Yankees are 24 and 11 on the road. So something has to give. We're going to go with Seth Lugo and the Royals here. The better pitcher against the more rested team and a fading the Yankees that has to travel from Sunday night baseball. Well, just like that, we have two quick picks down. Let's just throw one more in there for you. And let's go with the hitter parlay today. Let's switch it up. And let's go with a player prop parlay. Two hitters that should get it done. Why? Because they're both on really strong hit streaks. Bobby Wood Jr., Alex Bregman, over one plus hit. That gets you to minus 120 odds. Throwing Jordan Alvarez in there if you want to. Um, let me see. Who's another guy? Luis Arraz. The Padres are playing today. So there's a few other guys that you could throw in there if you're trying to get to plus Chicky. But I like both of these guys. They both picked up a hit yesterday to extend their hitting streaks to 10 games for Bobby Witt, 11 games for Alex Bregman. So they're both hitting the ball very well right now. Seeing the baseball really strong. I really love to see that over the last seven games. Alex Bregman has a 3.85 batting average to go with 10 hits and 26 at-bats. Over the last 15 games, 3.22 ERA to go with 19 hits. That's exactly what we're looking for. And Bobby Wood Jr., he's been just as strong. 3.55 batting average, 11 hits over the last seven games. Meanwhile, 3.53 batting average with 24 hits over the last 15 games. So these guys are not just getting one hit. They are getting multi-hit games. And today, with the pitching matchups that they both face, I like the fact that both of them should be able to get hits today. Give me Bobby Wood Jr., Alex Bredman, both to grab a hit as our third and final best bet of the day. Well, that's it for me today, my friends. Three best bets real fast on this Monday card. Give me the Royals on the money line here to pick up the win against the Yankees, but also give me the nerfing in that game. I do lean towards the under in that matchup, but we're just going to go under the first inning. And then give me two guys to get a hit, Bobby Wood Jr. and Alex Bregman. You get those two hits right there. We'll be good to go. and We'll be celebrating a sweep. As always, if you want some more picks and plays I'll be looking at throughout the day, click the link in the description, join the free Discord group, and I got you. Let's get to that cheddar. I'll see you on tomorrow's video, and let's celebrate a winning day. Later, guys.